All right, guys, we've sort of figured out where the uh, the end of the baseball field is of the outfield where we got the barber dime and some Indian heads. And we're going around here and, well, we're sort of targeting that, but the the old, uh, I think the old military camp is creeping back in because we had a, a deep iron signal way down there. And we got ourselves, that is solid iron. Looks to be a broken ax head. Huh, very cool. Yeah, we had a really loud 15 something signal. There was something else sounding like it was coming out, so I just wanted to dig whatever that was out of there and huh, didn't realize got a lot more than a bargain for. All right. Yeah, this definitely is very old. This is down eight, nine, ten inches. All right, see you on the next. All right, guys, we're still going around there. And it's also close to where we got all those colonials. And we got ourselves kind of a pile of ribbon, ribbon bled. It's all like in a ribbon shape, but it's all bunched up and, huh, very interesting. Very cool. Definitely something old down into deep territory. All right, see you on the next. All right, guys, we had a nice 2021 20, signal, and I was actually on my way to another spot in the park. And I thought I'd swing over this area just to see, and it looks like there's some fill here, but I had to dig down a little ways and get some larger, larger copper. Oh, I wonder. I have been looking for uh, when they built the trails of the big uh, revitalization back in 2013 I was seeing if where maybe the spoils from digging out those trails went maybe it was here I don't know if this is down below the fill or in the fill but uh, I wonder if we scratched it up a little bit or it could have been from if it has older scratches it might have been from getting moved but uh, yeah we got a large scent that's sweet. I haven't found a, I guess since that spill, I haven't found one, so it hasn't been too long. I see a Canada on there, so it's got to be a George V. Let's clean it off and hopefully it's not too crusty. Ah, oh, sweet guys. It's not overly crusty. The crust is kind of shallow. But uh, I think we got a year we don't have yet. We got a 19. Got a 1916. I think that's one year for some reason I don't have yet. Very cool. Aw, oh, sweet stuff. All right, I'm gonna keep uh, plugging around this little spot. See what the gist is. That would be awesome if this was Phil from down where they uh, put the trails. That would be sweet. All right, see you on the next. All right, guys, we had a nice uh, high 20s signal, like a small penny. And uh, take a look at this stuff. Look at the uh, dog's breakfast of this uh, soil. And uh, I think this uh, confirms uh, that this is stuff that's been uh, spoils that's been taken from that revitalization project. Look at that, 1920, no, 1929 actually, KG5, 
small scent and if you look at this well we got a little bit of bend in it yeah this sucker has been this has been moved around this soil oh that is sweet that means I don't know how thick this is that dark stuff down there might be the bottom I don't know might be only six inches deep this all these these spoil soils so it's I'm hoping that's the case that way it's all accessible for us but uh, yeah uh, we could pull anything out of here now that is awesome all right keep going here and see you on the next all right guys we've been digging oh we get those darn signals that sound like large scents but then we have to dig deep and they turn out to be stupid pop cans. Oh well, that's the, comes with the territory looking through this fill. Unfortunately in some spots, the topsoil over it is like six inches deep, so, oh well. Well, we finally have been rewarded. I see something down in the fill there and it's, it looks dime size. It rang up a 30, so I'm thinking it's probably, probably not overly old. Hoping it's wreathed, but uh, I'm thinking it's probably a KG6 or something like that. Hopefully she's not too banged up. Kind of looks like she's scratched up. Uh, looks like stain too. It's probably been in some soil that's been damp all the time. So, yeah, let's clean it off. I think I can see a sailboat through there. But uh, in any case, it's going to be silver. So, that's awesome. All right, guys, we got a very stained Georgie. Looks like it was buried in some dirt really deep, or who knows? Actually, you know what? Some of this soil might have even come from the parking lot area. Uh, they redid they redid that and probably had to take out a lot of soil to dispose of. Uh, it looks like we got a it's kind of hard to make out, but uh, I believe we got a 1944. See it right there. Yeah, very tough to make out. But anyway, we got silver, finally. All right, we'll keep going for a little bit longer and uh, see what else we can pull out.